Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you for being here. I'm going to pull a few of these tea leaves for you. Collective Energy, thank you for your contributions. As always, thank you for liking the videos, for commenting, and July is here. Hmm. Dealings or a relationship with a blonde woman who with blonde, gray, or white hair. Changes in your life. Someone was working. You could be this fair woman. Just it doesn't have to be fair hair or fair complected. But just an energy who is fair. People working behind your back. Uh. So because you're getting your wishes fulfilled and because you've got this great happiness here, somebody who's been working behind your back, okay? A two-faced friend. Or a two-faced person. Let's see. Because you're getting an increase in your material wealth. Don't be tempted to lower your standards. Don't fall into these people that are coming against you. What's going on here? trying to frustrate you. Hmm. What are you doing? I cannot stand it. Somebody can't stand the fact to see you're happy. Okay, they can't. Now, it could be a two-faced friend. Cannot stand to see you happy. Cannot stand to see you getting love. Cannot stand you getting these finances. Cannot stand to see you winning here. Don't lower your standards. Don't lower yourself to their level. I'm getting that straight off the hop. So who is this messy person who's trying to screw up this fair feminine's life. Who is this person who's trying to screw up this fair person's life? Who is this fool? Oh yeah, trying to defame your name. Claiming that they did it first and they know damn well they got inspired by you. Just mentally toxic. Spying on you is part of their daily routine. They low-key want to be you. And they are working behind your back. Salty bitches. Trying to get a reaction from you and get your attention. Immature. They're pissed off because they feel like you one-upped them somehow. And their spell work that they did is affecting them. This is a build-a-bitch, a major copycat, and they're blocking themselves. They got a personality disorder. They're trying to set you up somehow because your high energy pisses them off. They're fake witches that are hating on you. When are people going to stop doing this, man? They could have the very same thing that you have. Okay, collective? They can have what you have. But they're so busy hating you, trying to derail you, trying to defame you, that it's causing their own freaking downfall. This keeps coming out. They're fakes. 
And if they put their effort onto focusing in on their own work instead of focusing in on what you got to say or what you're doing, they could have what you have. That's what it's saying. All right. trying to cause you to lose opportunities. We got a mental, a personality disorder of some type. Okay, so they're sitting here judging your culture or judging your skin color or judging your finances or judging your romances <coughs> or judging your work. If they were more focused in on their own work, they'd have what you have. <laughs> Their spell work is backfiring. All up in your business, trying to get tarot card readings on you. Jealous of your lifestyle, your home, your clothes, your romance, your job, whatever it is. Like I said, if they were more focused in on their own lives, they would have what you have. There wouldn't be no need for them to be jealous in the first place. They'd have what you have. Maybe they'd have more than what you have. Trying to cause you tired. Oh, they just have a, are a feminine hater. Look, man. <sighs> Trying to send you like evil omens and stuff like that. Trying to block your solar plexus chakra. I don't know. It's just nuts. For some of you... It's an air sign. For some of you, it's your own damn family. Just hating on your success, your life choices. And if they were more apt to focus in on their own creativity, their own ideas, they might do better than you. And you wouldn't care. You'd be happy for them. Oh my God. Who is this? Wanting to be you. Wanting to be you. Mm -mm. Well, it could be a Gemini. Trying to s do spell work on you. I'm telling you. Hate it. Wanting to be you. I'm sorry, but they do. They're angry, they're resentful, and they're spying on you. They're hurt. Okay? Because you're happy. They may have a mental disorder. It could be an air sign, but Gemini is here. I'm sorry, it is. I can't help it. It is what it is. Hating on your happiness. Hating on your spiritual gifts. Judging you. Judging. They're judging you. Maybe your culture. Maybe they're judging your culture. Maybe they're judging your religious beliefs. Maybe they're judging your children. They want what you have, whether that is your lover, 
your life, your they're not going to get what you have by doing that. It's just plain and simple. I'm not going to teach them how, how either. So I'm going to be cautious of what I say in this reading. Judging you. Judging your religion, judging your culture, judging your children, judging your happiness, judging your relationships, your life choices that you have made for yourself. You're happy. And they're stuck. There could be one, there could be several of them. Because they lack, look, they're not confident. They can't be you. They cannot be you because in order to be in this high vibing energy, you cannot be in this energy. They are in this energy. By trying to cause you a downfall, they are causing their own Damn. Sending you negative energy. Why? Because spying on you is part of their daily routine. So. Oh my God. Can you get real here? These are fakes, fakes, fake people. I don't care who they are. They're fakes. They're like, they could be financially in a bind or financially stuck. Heavily burdened. These are fake friends. They're fake. Don't trust them. They play dirty. These are people who play dirty. And they feel shame. They feel like you tried to one-up them. This could even be your ex. Or they feel like you one up them somehow. Or they feel like, you know, you're doing better than them. Oh, you think you're so good. You think you're better than other people. It's childish. It's absolutely childish. Now, if they work their hiney off like you worked your hiney off, they would not have to be in any of this energy whatsoever. They're, they're unstable. Like they have some disorder, mental problem of some type. It's saying, I'm no doctor, but that's what it's saying. something wrong with their, you know, something. It's their own insecurities. They're jealous. And they're trying to compete with you. And they're trying to one-up you. They're jealous. Fake ass friends, I'm telling you. These are hateful witches. 
who got nothing better to do than send out negative energy and negative thoughts and trying to turn other people against you. They work so hard at that, but if they put that energy and if they put their mind on the right track, on their own work, they wouldn't be in that energy. They feel like you've made a fool of them or something like that. I don't know if they're trying to steal your job, steal your work. They want to be you. It's like an addiction. They want to be you. It requires a lot of hard work. And because you're happy and because you're doing your own thing here, you're not bothering anybody. They hate it. They just hate for the sake of hating. There's no real reason, rhyme or reason why they should. They could have, yeah. They see you getting all this love and attention and they hate it. Because they're lacking abundance. Like I said, they're putting in all their <clears throat> they're putting in all their work and their energy into hating you and wishing ill upon you and, and spying on you instead of like spending an awful lot of energy hating on you when they should be doing something about their own lives. They don't think it's fair. They don't think it's fair. They really don't. But that's a surefire sign of like, not a fire sign, it could be a fire sign, but like it's a sure indicator of that's why they're not manifesting. Because when you're happy for other people who have succeeded, then usually you get some of that good juju. You know what I'm saying? When you send out that negative energy, negative energy comes back to you and that's the problem here. You have a higher purpose. It's not that these people don't have higher purposes. But your purpose is a higher purpose. You are a warrior, an earth warrior. You've had way more pain and suffering, way more trials and tribulations this is the stuff that did not fall into your lap. It didn't. You, this is someone who has had to go through a whole life 
maybe several lifetimes of pain, suffering, <sighs> repeated suffering over and over and over again to get where you've gotten. And then they want to sit and envy you. But they wouldn't envy you if they knew what you've been through. <laughs> they wouldn't. That's what this is saying, straight up. Careful what you wish for. You know, if they want your life, just go on ahead. It's your energy. It's your high energy. So they try to take your high energy from you. Try to cause you problems. Block your chakras. And if it's another feminine, doing that to another feminine, what does that say about femininity? You know what I'm saying? People are people. It doesn't matter what your culture is. It doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter what your belief system is. If you are chosen, you're chosen. But in so being chosen, you don't have this life of bliss. It's a life of hardship. It's a life of pain and suffering. It's a life of sacrifice. It's a life of losing people and going through hardships, pain and suffering. That's how you get there. Nothing falls into your lap. Nothing. Nothing ever did. Nothing. You know what I mean? So they hate on you. After it all, you finally get a, a break. You know what I mean? And people got to be envious of it. So, Spirit, can you clarify this setup? What's this setup? Clarify this attempted setup. What's this attempted setup? What is this attempted setup? Clarify this attempted setup. clarify this attempted setup. Well, I'm sorry, but Spirit's not having it. It really doesn't matter what it is because Spirit ain't having it. If it's your destiny, it is your destiny. It's like somebody else's destiny. It doesn't make your destiny more important. It just means that they're destined to do something else and be important at that. That's it. And they want to be you. They want to have what you have. They want to be you. They want what you have.
This is a karmic, a group of karmics or a group of people who are stuck. They cannot access you. They cannot have what you have. Why would spirit, now let's be honest. Why would spirit bless people that are copycats? Why would spirit bless people that are haters? Why would spirit bless people that are full of hatred and anger and animosity. Why would spirit do that? Something wrong. They got some mental disorder. Okay? Or something to do with their a real negative mindset. They're jealous, okay? At the end of the day, it's about jealousy, which is really a shame. You cannot help what your destiny is. You can't help that. It is what it is. But they wouldn't want the life that you had if they knew how you lived it and what you had to go through to have it. Stand it. I'd be cautious of anybody new entering your life. I'd be cautious of past people returning. I'd be cautious of what you're doing for your work and on your job. They're all up in their head because they feel like you've one up them. But they sure the hell would not want to live your life, I can assure you. They think they got something to cry about there? <laughs> You've had that your entire life and probably several lifetimes. They should be careful what they wish for. They just might get it. need for it. Everybody has a purpose on this life. 
everybody has a purpose to fulfill on this life. But unfortunately, some of your purposes have a higher calling. Like, in with it comes all the suffering of that. So, would they really want it? I don't think so. It's your creativity that they hate. It is your spiritual gifts. It is your happiness, your growth. Don't lower your standards. They're going to try and bait you somehow. I'm not exactly sure how. It wouldn't tell me. And even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you because I know they're listening. tell you right now because I know that they're listening but just keep doing you don't let it get you off track just keep focused keep raising your vibrations keep going on just keep doing what you've been asked to do Let them hate. If that's how they want to spend their life, let them. Take care.